we're on our way. We'll uh, try not to look too dicey. It's a lot of crazies. No, mate. Looks like we could climb up over here, maybe. We're headed your way. You said you were a hold up in a church. What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first it was just weird stories on the news. Random mauling, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky. Just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's rape. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space, or black magic, or or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? <coughs> so, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and wait for the all clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all clear. Lily, did you invite these strangers? Who 
looking good. You made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to those God words. damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Look, I, I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily! He's not a rabid dog! Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? <sighs> yeah. Okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. I'm here. There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in.
did you all end up at the church anyway? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... We just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. Hey, what's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people, and it looks like no one's broken in. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. You might want to go check it out. and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan? Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and Ed out. Point. Do me a favor and don't come driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. Zeds like noise. Plus, they don't exactly go on trees, and we only got so much fuel to keep them running. So we gotta be careful about when we use About time you showed up. Let's get this show on the road. You're the newbie, so you get a bust in the window. The door will make less noise. Or, hey, you could do it like a total fucking idiot. 
Up to you. Just get us inside. to it. Let's get this done and get the hell out. Try to keep the zombies outside, huh? And who the hell put you in charge? How about years of experience on the beat, huh? How's that grab you? I didn't realize the Department of Fish and Wildlife counted as a beat. Laugh if you want. I'm still the only law enforcement officer on duty in this town. Yeah, and if we gotta deal with any zombie trout, you'll be the first motherfucker I call. Goddamn motherfucking oh, shit. What's wrong? Hold the fucking red set! So tape it shut and keep loading. That's it. Let me just space my ass. 